Hello guys, welcome to Technotrends. In the last video we have seen how to track the sessions using cookies and in this lesson we are going to see the we are going to look at uh, how to create the sessions and how to track the user information in JSP by using the HTTP session objects. In the last video we have seen the session tracking can be done in four ways. The first way is using cookies and the second way you is using hidden form fields and the third way you is using URL rewriting and the fourth way is using HTTP sessions. In the last video we have seen how to create using cookies and today we are going to look at how to track the sessions of a user using HTTP session objects okay HTTP session object is a predefined object implicit object which is available in the JSP and that session object is used to set the and get the attributes for the users to create their sessions in the JSP okay so the container JSP container creates a session ID for each user the container uses this ID to identify the particular user and an object of HTTP session can be used to perform two tasks the first one is it is used to bind the object to the data and the second one is to view and manipulate the information about a session such as session identifier creation time and last last access time and the session names and all these things can be manipulated and viewed by the HTTP session object and uh, this is a simple example which shows the full picture of the session tracking in the JSPs. So this is the place we can call it as the session and in this place we can keep the attributes of the page. page. Okay, The attribute is nothing but uh, if I want to create the session user using the username then I can kept that uh, I can keep that uh, attribute uh, username into this place and that can be accessed with the help of login.jsp, welcome.jsp, display.jsp and logout.jsp. These are the files, these are the web pages which are available in my web application and uh, I can keep that value from login.jsp and I can access from welcome.jsp or I can keep that one from welcome.jsp and access from display.jsp and I can keep from any place and I can access from any of the pages which I have in my web application and uh, the methods available in the HTTP session object are okay the first one is get attribute which is used to get the values get the sessions we have created in the web application and the next one is set attribute if uh, there is no attribute which I have wait searching for then I need to create that attribute with the help of this set attribute and uh, remove attribute I don't want to have that one if I want to remove that attribute from the sessions okay I can do so with the help of the remove attribute and uh, get creation time it is going to retrieve it is going to give us when it was created the session was created at a particular time that time will be created uh, that time will be retrieved or uh, returned by this uh, get creation time and uh, get id so it is going to give us the id of the user which i have created and uh, get last access time when i have accessed the session last time also get by the retrieved by this function and uh, invalidate i wanted to remove all the sessions and i wanted to invalidate the user with his username or with his session attribute i can do so with the invalidate and is new is new method is used to check out whether the user is new for the session or not if he is new to the session then it is going to return with true and if it is not new then it is going to return with uh, false okay by using this one i can find out whether the user has uh, accessed the website for the first time or he has used he has accessed the website earlier okay so 
these are the methods which are available uh, in the HTTP session and we are going to use the get attribute and set attribute uh, in our example and our example is going to contain uh, two files one is login dot jsp okay and counter dot jsp these are the two files which are going which i am going to create in my web application and login dot jsp is going to have only a button which is going to say go to my session and uh, counter dot jsp is going to count the accesses for that counter dot jsp file and it is going to show you how many times you have accessed that page in my web application okay so we are going to start with a project okay i am using the previous session tracking jsp project which is used to which ha which have been used to create the sessions for my jsp in the previous example okay so in the same example i am going to create the jsp page login dot jsp page okay and uh, i'm going to create that one right login jsp yep i have created and uh, the send content type and all these things are there okay so here i am going to have the button okay so sorry button not button so i'm going to have the form first I'm creating form action is equal to what is the name of the file I want to create counter dot JSP so counter dot JSP method is equal to post okay right and in this one I'm going to have the button which is of type submit go to my session demo right okay let me check once uh, okay so shift f6 running my file yeah Yes. it is showing me the thing yeah go to my session demo now what I need to do is I need to create a, another JSP okay called the counter dot JSP to count the number of visits okay so right click on my project new JSP okay counter dot JSP yes this is my jsp page okay so this is my jsp page and here i need to include the jsp elements okay so this is my jsp elements okay so what i want to do is i want to create a variable counter first so counter which is of integer type not int type it is integer type so integer uh, so which is of which can be get from the session object session dot get attribute of counter okay so counter done so next what i wh why i have taken it as integer so it is going to return me with uh, whenever i am going to say session dot get attribute of the uh, attribute name so it is going to return me with the whether it has a value then it is going to return me with value otherwise it is going to return me with uh, null if i have taken it as int so it can't hold the null value because int can hold only 0 and 1 and all the integer variables but integer is an object which can hold the null so for that purpose i have taken it as the integer very object okay so if counter is equal to null that means if there is no counter variable counter variable counter session variable then it returns me with null so that means the user is accessing the web page for the first time so counter is equal to null so what i'm going to do is counter is equal to new 
integer of 0 I am initializing it with a 0 okay and uh, I am taking a string uh, here to display the message so what is the message I want to display so it is the for the first time it is for the first time so I am mentioning welcome user for the first time to my web application okay so next else what can I have if it is not null that means it has some value either 0 or 1 or 2 when it will be 0 when he has visited for when he, he has visited for already and uh, when it will be 1 it is for the second time and third time and fourth time the values will be 1 0 1 2 3 and so on so if it is not null that means it may be any value so what I am going to do is counter okay so counter is equal to new integer of c dot int value plus 1 okay so what if in sorry c not c it is counter dot int value of 1 value plus 1 because it is not an integer value int value I cannot directly say c plus plus or c is equal to c plus plus or counter is equal to counter plus 1 it is an integer object so I am getting it as counter dot int value int value is a function of integer class which is going to return me a integer value so 0 plus 1 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 3 plus 1 and message is message is welcome back right okay and uh, what I can do now is I can I how checked whether the counter is uh, something or not and now I am going to so message is equal to welcome back and now I need to set the session okay session dot set attribute of what is the value counter so name of the value is counter okay c o u n g e r and value is counter done I have created the session and I have set the session attribute and now I want to display the message so h1 in the thing is message okay and next is h2 okay h2 and now percentile percentile okay out dot print line the number of previous visits are plus counter c o u n g a r and that's it okay so done now i need to check it out so control s and uh, go for login.jsp and uh, login.jsp run file okay starting my server session okay and now uh, as login.jsp go to my session demo right welcome user for the first time to my web application the number of previous visits are zero right and uh, say again go to session demo right go to session demo welcome back the number of previous visits are one and uh, refresh okay welcome back number of previous visits, visits are two and uh, refresh visits are three four five six so like this I can track the session information of the user using HTTP session object I have used here the HTTP session object session okay so like this I can track the user information using the session H HTTP session objects okay 
thank you very much guys thank you very much and uh, don't forget to like my video and share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you one and all